Hey what's going on everyone this is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing iPhone keyboard tricks that only iPhone power users know. These are tricks that will make your life easier and of course give you a much much easier access to a lot of things and a lot of features on your keyboard. You can do a lot more than you think with the keyboard of your iPhone using and utilizing its hidden features and of course the tricks that I'm about to show you guys in this video. So if you want to take advantage of all of your iPhone features and of course have a much much easier way of typing things and of course accessing different stuff with the keyboard of your iPhone then watch this video and these tricks will make your life much much easier. All right we're starting with a very simple thing hiding the keyboard from the screen of your iPhone. There is no like X button that doesn't work right there. There's no like X button or something like that that will let you remove the keyboard once it appears on the screen of your iPhone, whether that be on a note or maybe a website or something like that. But there is a very useful trick. You swap tap here and swipe down like this. And just like that, you can hide the keyboard from the screen of your iPhone. You probably didn't know this and you will see it also works on websites, for example. So if I I'm right here on Safari. I can go ahead tap right there. You can see the keyboard will show up. I don't have to tap cancel there or anything. Just tap here and swipe down and just like that I can remove the keyboard from the screen of my iPhone. That's a very very easy way to do it and of course will make your life much much easier. Next up we're moving to typing. So this is very very useful and you probably will use this on a daily basis. Anytime you want to add an uppercase letter you don't have to tap the shift button. Go ahead tap the letter and of course then disable the shift button. All you gotta do is tap and hold the shift button and just swipe to the letter that you want to add and then of course just release it and it will go back to the lowercase letters. Just like that you can add any word you want any like any like letter you want with the uppercase of course simply by swiping here from the shift right there to the letter that you want to add as easy as that you can add anytime you want an uppercase letter. Now while on the keyboard of your iPhone let's say you don't like something you want to change something on the keyboard of your iPhone you will have to go to settings and that should be done by going to settings general then keyboard or you can do it straight from the keyboard either hold right here you can see the emoji and you will get a button to go to the keyboard settings and if you have enabled dictation right here then you will be able to also go from here tap and hold there dictation settings and it will take you to the keyboard settings on your settings app that's the easiest way to have quick access to the keyboard settings on your iphone on your iphone you know that now you can search for emojis so when you search for emoji you can see right there we have the result and you will have basically one color of the emoji the one that you have chosen at the first time you have used the emoji or the one that, which is basically the default you can still change the color from here you don't need to go search for that emoji on the emoji keyboard from here from the results all you have to do is just tap and hold and then it will show you all the different results right here and of course you can go ahead and use any one of them from here you can change the color of the emoji anytime you want simply by tapping and holding that emoji. Now when you go to the emoji keyboard you will have here a few different categories which you can move through here or you can just swipe like this to move the different like categories of emojis or what you can do is you can see this row of like those gray icons all you have to do is just swipe like this and you will be able to quickly move through all the emojis of your device you don't have to actually go ahead and swipe one by one you can just go ahead and move your finger like this and you can quickly move between all the different categories of emojis a pretty useful feature of the iOS keyboard is text replacement. I don't see a lot of people using this, but it's actually very, very useful. So let's say I have to enter my email right here. All I have to do is just tap the add button and tap the space. And there I have my email. I don't have to actually type it every time I need it. What you have to do is go ahead and head on to the settings app, go to general right here, go to keyboard, and then right here you will find text replacement you go here and you basically choose the text that you want to replace so you will have the phrase right there so let's just enter test right there and you have the shortcut so if i just go ahead and add this and i can save this then i will have that shortcut so you can see right now if i just go ahead tap right there i can go ahead 
and tap the space and it will replace that text. But if you need to actually use that character that you have used as a shortcut for that phrase, you can still use it. Of course, just tap right there. You can tap here and you're good to go. It will, of course, just display the character that you have chosen. So anytime you tap on it, you can either choose to replace the text that you have as a shortcut or you can just go ahead and tap right there and you're good to go. You will be able to remove the phrase from that shortcut and of course just use the character as a single. A very easy way to add a period at a text on your device is simply double tapping the space bar. You don't have to actually go ahead and look for the character there all you gotta do is just double tap right there on the space bar and you're good to go but for that to work you will have to go to your settings and go to general go to short go to keyboard and right here make sure you have shortcut enabled and this will enable that feature so simply double tap at the end of any text and you will be able to quickly add that dot and of course this is one that is probably more popular a lot of people probably know about this but if you don't know this will be very useful so let's say i want to add a number here i tap here i add the number tap again here to go to the letters what you gotta do is tap and hold here and just swipe your finger at any number release it it will add the number and quickly go back to the of course to the letters to the keyboard of your device that's the easiest way to add any number that you want now your iPhone has a very, very cool hidden keyboard, which probably most of you guys don't know about. Head on to the settings, go to general, go to keyboard and go to keyboards right there. Add a new keyboard and search for Japanese. Select Japanese and add this one right here and click done. Now, when you go to your keyboard, let's switch to the Japanese keyboard, tap right here on the numbers and then tap on this little symbol right here and you can see you get all these cool characters you can see how cool that is and if you tap right there you get a whole new keyboard right here with all these characters and of course you can go ahead and add them anywhere you want so whether you want to use them maybe on a comment or on your social media anywhere you want to use them you will have these really really cool characters on the keyboard which of course is the japanese one and you can go ahead and add it from the keyboards on your settings app and last but not least is a very useful feature for everyone that uses prediction text on their keyboard. So of course we type a lot and our iPhone will basically learn how we type, the kinds of words we use and of course we'll show them as basically a prediction on your keyboard and it's a very very useful feature and I suggest everyone use it. If you don't see maybe the words in your language or the phrases of stuff that you use just give it a time, give it some time, maybe a week or so. You're iPhone will learn how you type and that will be very very useful but if you want to reset all that everything that the keyboard of your iPhone has learned from your typing you can do that by going right here transfer or reset iPhone tap on reset and you will have right here reset keyboard dictionary this will reset only your keyboard nothing else on your iphone only your keyboard will be reset to its default of course settings that came with your iphone once of course you have bought a new iphone or restored your iphone so that's basically it for this video guys these are 10 amazing hidden features that the keyboard of your iphone has that iphone power users should know if you want to take advantage of your iphone and all its cool features make sure you learn these tricks and use them on your keyboard that's basically it don't forget to leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you guys on the next one